Hey guys, it's Ren Creates, and today I'm doing a review on a Nokazu's gaming chair, which is the chair that is right behind me. The first thing to know about this gaming chair, the parts are kept in place with a foam pad, which is really good for shipping and for if it's shooken around. The box also wasn't damaged. Also, the chair comes with a manual, which is actually in the form of a booklet, and it shows you both a guide and instructions on how to put it together and how to use it. And in all honesty, for a guide and instructions on how to put it together and how to use it, it's pretty in-depth for a gaming chair. And with the installation and guide, the assembly of this chair took about 30 to 45 minutes. And in all honesty, it could be faster depending on how familiar you are with chairs. Another big convenience that this gaming chair also includes is that the screws are pre-installed and you can use your thumbs to screw in or loosen the screws. Oh yeah, and before I forget, the chair also comes with the mouse pad. Which comes with easy unboxing. This mouse pad is actually pretty wide, and if you're trying to make a custom PC setup, this chair might already have you covered. So, the back of the chair is mostly straight, but it makes it up with pillows to compensate for the lack of ergonomic design. And you know it works! Because if you're a gamer and a really big tryhard that will just completely sweep the whole lobby in Fortnite, you're likely not going to be laid back relaxing down your chair. You're likely going to be up at the edge of your seat, and if you're a gamer, then it makes up for the design choice. However, if you are going to use the reclining feature to lie back and just chillax, it isn't the best in the world. As a matter of fact, I actually even tried to sleep on it, and I only really got like three hours of sleep before, before just going to sleep in my bed. So maybe that's something you guys should keep in mind as well, since it is mostly just a flat back with two pillows for support. Now for the overall cushion of the chair, it's very nice, it's made out of a synthetic foam and it just feels amazing. And it's a really good material choice as well. However, one thing to keep in mind, don't recline too far back or else you might just end up falling on your ass like this dumbass here. But again, that's user error than actually, than the product's fault, so yeah. The chair also features height and tilt just abilities, so you'll be able to adjust it to your height. It also includes a foot rest. Actually, it's more of a leg rest since my feet go way past it. Now, the one thing about it is, and do keep in mind I'm a pretty short dude, the foot rest is more of a leg rest because it supports my legs more than my feet. Now, it is very convenient to have. Say you're going to lay down or take a nap. It works perfectly fine and you probably also won't end up going off your balance like I did. Now, the armrest for this chair is all right. It goes up, it goes down, and it's a bit clunky though. It's kind of choppy when you're trying to press down or bring it up, but for the most part, it'll stay in place and it is quite sturdy. The wheels on this chair are also pretty good as well because on this carpet I'm using, they actually can roll quite all right. Of course, it would be way better if you had it on hardwood, which I'm sure on hardwood floor, it would just glide through it. So that's also a very nice feature as well. Now for a very cool feature that this chair has, the massage feature. The massage feature does make up one of the two cushions that are on the back of the seat. And to activate it, you just need to plug it into a wall or outlet socket. But do note, you will have to bring your own USB to outlet plug, so make sure you do have one of those in hand. And also, to reach on it's quite abysmal, so say that your gaming chair is far away from an outlet, you might need to bring an extension cord to make it work. But now with the length out of the way, let's actually get, let's actually get to the massage cushion itself. And to be honest, as soon as you plug it in, it just vibrates. And it's supposed to give you lower back support, but in my opinion, it's more of just a gimmick, as I don't really feel too much else. I mean, I, it still feels good. I mean, I enjoyed it, but in all honesty, again, it, it is just a gimmick. So my overall thoughts on this chair. For around $200 or less, I think it's excellent. I think it's actually one of the best. But again, do note, I haven't had a gaming chair before this one, and the Ren Mark 7, which is back there, is kind of the only other chair I've had, so I don't really have much I can compare this to. But in all honesty, it is great, it is fantastic, and with all of its functions, and though it's not the most ergonomic in the world, it still is quite comfy. So if you want a really good gaming chair that also looks pretty cool too, and has some excellent features, this gaming chair is just fantastic. Before this video ends, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free, it only takes a second, and you'll also be able to keep up to date with all my content. 
I will be doing other reviews on the future, both of gaming products and other products like, so I hope that you guys stick around to see that too. But I hope that this review helped you on your purchase decision, and Ren Creates is out. Sayonara.